Welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. It's the turn of the 68 calibre today. Aluminium balls, 7.5 grams. So being that we're on the 68 calibre, I thought I'd bring out some old favourites. We have the HDS 68. Now this is sporting the ammo holder. That's from Home Defence 24. Just screws in the top. Uh, I did have a rail on here for a red dot site or whatever site you wanted to put on. Just taking it off. This screws in the same place. I think they do one where it's on both sides as well. This is tuned up. It's a seven half dual version, which wasn't putting out a lot of power. Um, I've tuned it up. It, it sits around about 20 joules now. So there's that. We're going to put a few rounds through that one today. We've got the HDR 68, which is bog standard, 16 joules. So I've put this all back to standard. Um, this is my we weapon of choice for bedside table. Not that I'm ever going to need it, of course, because uh, the dogs will soon know if someone's breaking into the house and they'll, well, I'm not sure if they would see them off or not. But anyway, we've also got the HDX 68. This is a seven and a half joule version tuned up. Uh, when we was firing the iron balls, it was close to 40 joules. Um, I'm not going to fire a lot through the chronograph, but when we get them loaded up, I'll tell you what, what we're doing and then I'll just fire a couple through the chronograph so you get some ideas of the numbers. So the only gun is here that is stock is the HDR 68. So um, yeah, this one's tuned up and the HDS is tuned up. So we'll see what we can do with them. Now, obviously with the HDS X 68, we can only put the balls in it. Now we could put the ammo uh, six V9s and put one in at a time into the doodah. But, um, you know, we want to rack it with the old pump, don't we? So I'm going to be putting the balls through that. Um, I'm not sure if the aluminium balls are going to roll out of the barrel. But uh, we'll give it a go. First up, HDR68 aluminium balls. Twenty-eight joules. Twenty-seven joules. That's not bad. Out of a sixteen joule gun. HDS sixty-eight. Oh dear, something's quite wrong with that. Uh, hold on a moment. Right, we'll try the HDS 68 again. No, nothing's working on that. What is going on with this? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh well, that's that one put to one side. HDX 68. Thirty-eight joules, not bad, not bad. Right, let's shoot some stuff. Crash! It puts a big hole through that bit of tin. That one didn't go through. I think we're getting a bit down on power. Well, that went through. No. And we're empty. Right, HDR 68, let's try that. Okay now. And that's empty. So those aluminium balls kick Pack quite a punch. 38 joules in the HDA X68, 27 in the 16 joule HDR. Now that's bog standard. <laughs> I don't quite know what's going on with that gun, but I'm not bothered. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that one as stock. Um, there's no point messing about with that because it's putting out 27 joules. I'm going to test some other ammo shortly um, in the HDR68. 
um, that won't go in this. This will only take the balls. But 10 shots through here at about 38 joules, it did actually penetrate that roasting tin, which for a, a aluminium ball, I think is quite acceptable. So, uh, yeah, all good stuff. <laughs> right, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to do the ammunition in separate videos. So that was the aluminium. <coughs> that was the aluminium balls. Um, we'll move on to something else now. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.